Sometimes life can really hijack your fucking mind. When that happens to you, you're all fucked up. Your goals, your ambitions, everything is out the fucking window. In life, we all go through different things. Sometimes your girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up with you. Guess what? Get the fuck over it. They no longer want you. Maybe you fell a test in school. You worked your ass off. Guess what? You failed the fucking test. Get over it. Move past it. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. At work, you've been working your ass off for that new promotion. You don't fucking get it. Someone else does. Maybe they kiss better ass than you do. Guess what? Get over it. Life will hijack your mind if you let it. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Get one time, I was running by a graveyard. I mean, I was fucking just trying to become, I was fat. And I ran by a graveyard and I looked out there and I have all these epiphanies, man. I have all these fucking moments of like, of it's crazy, man, of, of just thought. Cause I'm always by myself, I'm always deep fucking thought about how to be better. And I look out there, I'm like, man, I wonder how many of you motherfuckers in there fucking just are so upset with how you lived your life and fucking just regret how you lived it. And I'm running a 300 pound man thinking, man, don't fucking die like this, bro. Don't die like this. So people wonder where this shit comes from from me. It, it, it comes from such deep thought of trying to see what this is all about. What is this life all about? What am I all about? Why am I here? You know, I had to, I had to find purpose. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Sunrise, sun goes down. So that means there is a up, there is a down. Since we are born, we have inhaled 50% of our times. We have exhaled 50% of, of our times. Our heart, the same. Sucking the blood, pumping the blood, also the same. Meaning always 50-50. Always the exchange between left and right, up and down, bright and dark, in and out, success and failure. It's just that this world is not propagating failure to you. It is propagating success to you. So our, our mind is looking for success starting to believe there's only one way there's only one direction in this life that we live the fear is never reaching your potential that's it but always falling short always quitting before you're done always procrastinating always not doing the right thing and then one day you're an old man yep and you look back and go, god i could have been great yep because i'm great and when it feels scary to jump the end that is exactly when you jump Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Browns, a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on the ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are gonna to be around your bed when your time comes?